Welcome to Whiskey Mountains. I'm Adriana and today we're out on Antelope Island. I cannot believe I've never been out here before. It is really pretty. The grass is poking me and distracting me, but it's really pretty out here. It's just a very different landscape uh, and I'm kind of mad I've, I've never come out here before. It's, it's really awesome. Uh, but today, while we're out here, we're going to be drinking Maker's Mark 46 Castrain. And I say we. I mean, I'm going to be drinking it and y'all can just watch. But you can drink it at home. <laughs> So Maker's Mark, you probably know they're weeded bourbons, uh, so meaning that instead of rye, they have wheat. So for the Maker's Mark mash bill, we're looking at a 70% corn, 16% wheat, and 14% malted barley mash bill. But the the 46 uh, line I release of Maker's Mark are these special ones in which they are barreled as usual, but then these French oak staves that have been seared are added to the barrel. So they're like put uh, into the whiskey for a time being, I think. Uh, and so 46 refers to recipe 46 of trying this out uh, that came out to this very delicious and kind of unique thing. So um, I think it's neat because I think it kind of adds almost more of like, um, like a Christmas spice to it, uh, like mold spices maybe. So it just gives this really unique flavor to uh, an already pretty good, you know, weeded bourbon. So this is the cast strength, uh, which is a fairly limited edition, I think, but we actually are able to get it here in Utah pretty, uh, not without much difficulty. I don't know how it is in other places. So, but it's about 60 bucks and it's 109.6 proof. Uh, but this is a non-age stated whiskey. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it into the glass and try it out. And just right off the get-go with the cast strength, you really get uh, me falling off a rock. I honestly feel like you just get all cinnamon baking spice, like a like a cinnamon roll, though maybe not quite as sweet, just like maybe a cinnamon roll without the icing on it. It's just a lot of that baking spice, but like a little bit of breadiness. There's also something else there that's like sweet and sharp like vanilla bean, maybe. There's like a sharpness to the sweetness. It's not just sweet. You're kind of getting that just right there off the bat. Mm. Oh, that's so good. There's definitely a lot of spice uh, just right at the front of it. It's like cinnamon spice right on the front. It's not just like, you know, the heat of the alcohol. There's definitely that. Um, but it drinks actually really nicely has a little bit of a finish, but the main thing you're getting right there on the front of the palate is all that cinnamon spice. I'd say cinnamon spice much more so than pepper. Okay, so on that second sip, try not to sneeze. Something's out here is trying to make me sneeze. But <laughs> on that second sip, I feel like I'm getting, again, that cinnamon spice, but the vanilla is starting to come through. The sweetness is starting to come through. You know, sometimes the first sip is the sharpest and the second sip I think can kind of tell you more about the whiskey. And on this one is where I'm getting more of that balance of flavors that I really like from this. Um, you know, I think on weeded bourbons in general, you tend to get uh, kind of baking spice and breadiness, uh, not too shocking from the wheat, but um, I just really like the the flavors that come forward with this these Maker's Mark 46. Uh, actually, I haven't had the regular 46. I've only had this cast strength, but I love this cast strength. I don't know. Uh, I'm sure I would like the regular, but probably not as much as this uh, the cast strength. It has a pretty short finish, not a crazy long finish, uh, but I'm gonna let it open up now and see how it how it does. Yeah, so today uh, I'm 
can't believe I've never been out here. I'm an on Antelope Island, and it's really pretty. I'm headed up, hopefully. Don't know if I'll make it all the way. I think it's like three miles to the peak. So, but I'm headed up to Frary Peak. See if I make it, might not. If not, I might go over to that one. Uh, which is like Drory Knob Creek? No, oh wait. <laughs> Drory Knob Peak. Not Knob Creek. <laughs> it's been pretty steep. I think it's a 2,000 feet elevation gain over the three miles. So, pretty steep, but not terrible. But it's, I saw bison as I was driving in on the island. Um, and it's just such a different landscape out here. It's actually only, it's really less than an hour outside of Salt Lake. GPS is just including driving around the whole island. So it would probably take around an hour to drive around it. So even if you came during the summer, it's honestly kind of worth coming out here for a drive because it's very cool landscape. And you'll pretty much definitely see bison. I'm camping here overnight, so uh, today I'm going up this peak, but tomorrow I'll probably go for another hike, likely along that shoreline, uh, which should be really pretty too. And I'll have another whiskey with me to do. So, all right, uh, back to the whiskey. I don't even know which whiskey I'm doing today. It's in my book bag. I'm gonna try it again now that it's aired out a little bit. Change directions up so you can see some different aspects of our view out here. It's just, oh, it's really pretty though. I mean, all over, like I'm just at this very cool spot and I'm in like this little hole. <laughs> it's kind of weird, surrounded by slate. I don't know if I should have done that because I worked hard to get this set up in a way. Yep, should not have done that. Okay, so now it's aired out a bit. Let's try it again. Oh man, now it's just like, I love this combination of flavors. It really smells like a, like a baked good, but with a lot of like uh, nutmeg, cinnamon, you know, just like a lot of the spices and not that much sugar. So some kind of baked good that has a lot of that. Maybe what fruitcake smells like. I can't say I've ever, I mean, does anybody like fruitcake? But maybe like what fresh fruitcake smells like or something? I imagine something very Christmassy and just like all those baked spices, that kind of spice as opposed to pepper. But oh, so good. And actually kind of like a, it's like brown sugar, baking spices, and also some butter. Oh, that's exactly what it is. Oh my God. That bird just flew so close, it scared the jeebies out of me. Anyways, take another sip. Mm. That is good. That is so good. Mm. And with this view, wow. I love this stuff. I love, if you can get Maker's Mark 46 gas strength, I think it is very much worth the 60 bucks. I'm getting just cinnamon, butter, vanilla, like a little bit of vanilla. Like it's not too sweet, but it's just the right amount of sweetness to balance out all those baking spices. But it's very much baking spice and not like pepper. So now here on the back of the palette, like that's all what's just exploding. Like, I mean, it's just insane when you take a sip, it's so different than a regular bourbon. And now there's plain. It doesn't have a long finish. Uh, I'd say short to medium finish, maybe. Um, and there's like maybe a touch of tobacco in that finish, but it's just not a long finish at all. It's like butter and tobacco in that end and a little bit of that cinnamon. That cinnamon's just going through the entire time but really it's honestly very consistent from beginning to when it's aired out like it did not lose flavor it didn't get too simplified as it aired out I mean it's just so so yummy okay so this was something that I got on the nose at home and I'm kind of getting it again now because I'd heard people say banana and I get it a little bit on the nose but what it makes me think of is as if you 
maybe like cooked bananas in like that butter and cinnamon. I don't know how you make banana pasta or whatever. Uh, but, but then like you let it cool. Like it's not like that fresh hot banana. It's like that cooled version so that it's like kind of faint and not too strong and just that hint that's really melded with the butter and the cinnamon and oh it's so good so this is a great one at home I always love it at home but honestly this is also one that's really good outside and this one's actually very similar to what it tastes like at home um, out here so this one isn't as affected by the outdoors I better head back and set up my tent get comfy for the night so and hang out make myself some dinner uh, at, but yeah I really love Maker's Mark 46 cast grain. I hope it's not so limited that you can't find it. We're able to find it pretty easily. I'd better go get another bottle though, uh, because of course, now that I've said that, it's I won't be able to find it anymore. <laughs> but uh, at 60 bucks, I think it's honestly very, very worth it. I love this flavor profile. I think it's different and unique, but still the weeded, you know, that you might want um, with some unique complexity that's just, goes on and on and, and is really really good on the nose and on the palate so I don't think if you're at all like me you'll regret it so thanks for joining me today on Whiskey Mountains Salud imagine coming out here for a beautiful hike and talking about politics why would you want to ruin your gorgeous hike anyway Welcome to Miss. So, and today we are, uh, so you know, have another whiskey. <laughs> but in general, oh my god, this fucking gimbal. All right. In the words of Hagrid, should not have done that. Oh, even the birds like, you done fucked up?